Hi, I'm Pastor Scott Seeky from Amazing Grace Lutheran Church in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Thank you for watching this week's sermon. Enjoy. Anyway, I missed you. I had a good week, though. I had a good week. Came back so relaxed I didn't know what to do with myself. Uh, we went camping at our favorite spot, which is the Fort Wilderness Campground, where, by the way, Scott Davidson used to work, which is kind of cool. Didn't know that. And uh, it was great. We planned this trip for spring break back in, like, August, right? Because if you want to go anywhere for spring break, you have to plan it that far ahead because all of Atlanta goes to Florida, practically. So we had a plan. Christmas time comes around. I'm thinking about my parents. Disney, of course, is in Orlando. My parents live in Fort Myers, which, like, if this is Florida right here, Fort Myers is kind of down here. Orlando's kind of in the middle. So I thought, you know, it would be kind of fun to have my parents come up. It's about a three-hour drive. It's about as far as my dad can go these days. He just doesn't do well sitting for a long time. So I thought, all right, that's cool. So I thought, you know what? Christmas is coming. And I can never think of what to get my parents for Christmas. I mean, I don't know about you, but trying to find Christmas presents for my parents is next to impossible. Uh, my mom still has, yeah, hey, preach it, brother. Um, I think my mom still has the cabinet of all the Bath and Body Works stuff that we gave her before we realized she never actually used it, you know? Um, so every, it's kind of a struggle, and I was like, you know what, let's get them a hotel room. You know, then they can come up, and they can stay, and we can spend a day together while we're Disney camping. And uh, so I thought, we'll get them a room at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, okay, because my parents like animals, and I like animals, and you know, they can get a room, and I don't know if you know about this place, but the Animal Kingdom Lodge has got a, like a, it's shaped like a U, and in the middle is this, like, grassland savanna area with, um, you know, zebras and giraffes and wildebeests and all these interesting animals that you never see anywhere. So you can just sit on your balcony and watch the animals. So I thought, all right, you know, I'll look it up and I'll uh, see how much it is and see if we can book a room for my parents and make it their Christmas present. So I looked it up and I saw the price. Like, I better call my parents. So I called them and I said, hey, uh, this is what we're thinking. We're going Disney camping. We'd like for you to come up and visit with you and we'd like to buy you this room for your Christmas present. They're like, okay. I said, well, it would be both of your Christmas present. I'm like, okay. And Father's Day and Mother's Day. They're like, <laughs> okay. And I'm like, and both your birthdays. And they're like, okay. This is kind of, these rooms are not cheap. Yeah. So they said, all right, fine. It's better than buying them something junky that they're going to stick in a cabinet somewhere. And I knew that they would love it because they love animals. I mean, they live on a pond in Florida. They spend like the whole day watching birds fly. And three times a week I get pictures of the various critters that have wandered by. They love animals, this would be fantastic. So, Wednesday of, of a week ago was when they were supposed to be there and I told my mom, I said, when you get there, just send me a text that you're there and we'll come over and we'll spend the day there. We'll just watch the animals, we'll go to dinner, it'll be great. So, about 11 o'clock that morning, I get a text from her, she says, we're at the hotel, the room's not ready yet, this is amazing. I'm like, all right, cool. So about one o'clock, I get another text from her, she says, we got the room, it's room 7340, this is amazing. So we went, and you know, my dad walks us up to the room, and my mom opens the door, and she opens the door, and she leads us straight through the room, doesn't like stop, just goes right out to the balcony where they've already got chairs set up and we just sat down and just watched the animals. And she had her phone out about every five or ten minutes. She was taking a picture of something. We watched a giraffe um, eat and, and the leaves were above like where the giraffe's mouth is. Turns out a giraffe's tongue is like this long. <laughs> and what they do is they wrap their tongue around the, the branch and then they pulled down and all the leaves come off. She got a video of that. And she was like, this is amazing. And my dad, who, by the way, doesn't like anything, um, <laughs> was sitting on the bed the whole time. But I noticed that he sat in a way that he could still see outside the window. And he made sure that the door was open and the curtain was pulled back which is about as close to loving something as my dad ever really gets. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, 
giving this present to my parents felt great. It felt really, really good to see their joy, to see their excitement, to see how happy they were being there. It was a room that they never would have bought for themselves. They never would have plunked down the cash. Um, I'm a little shocked that I did, frankly. But I'm so glad, and they enjoyed it so much, that it was worth that and more. And you know, that's how it feels to give somebody a gift. I remember a few years back, about five years back, my wife and I were thinking about Christmas and birthdays, and we're like, you know what? There are people in the world who need like real things, people that are hungry, you know, people that don't have clothes. So we told our family, look, instead of buying us a Christmas present this year, we want you to go to the ELCA Good Gifts page and you can buy people a goat. All right, buy somebody in a poor country a goat. So they said, all right, fine. They went and they bought a bunch of poor people goats and then they bought us more stuff. <laughs> and I think we said about it, we thought about it for a while. We couldn't figure out what's going on. Like, what's so hard about this? But what we were doing without realizing it is we were taking away from them the ability to give us a gift. And it feels good to give a gift to someone you care about. It is a joy. It makes me happy to be generous to the people that I care about. Well, that is what we're doing in the offering every week. We are giving to God. We are giving a gift to God. Now, there are other ways that we give to God, right? We give to God with our time. Every time you volunteer around here, you're giving a gift to God. Every time that you're out there in the neighborhood dancing a Zumba dance or whatever it may be to help your neighbor, you are giving God a gift. And God appreciates and is thankful for all those gifts. But this is another important way. The offering that we give is a gift we give to God. And it can become very easily about paying the bills. It can very easily become about the fact that if you don't give enough money, then I can't you know, pay my mortgage or eat or whatever. It can become about that. But it is not. That is not the reason we have an offering. We have an offering because it's an opportunity to give a gift and a present to God. And that's why when we have, like, midweek worships or any worships, like, should we have an offering? Yes, we should have an offering. Of course we should. Because it's an opportunity for us to feel good. It's a chance for us to feel that joy of giving a gift to God. And, you know, the gifts vary, right? The gifts vary depending on who we are. But I'll tell you what. If you come into my office afterwards and you're like, hey, Pastor, I got a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup for you. You know what? I feel pretty good about that. I like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. If you came into my office and said, hey, Pastor, I got a car for you, I'd feel pretty good about that too. Especially if it was a Prius. The plug-in kind. Like a blue one. I'm just saying. <laughs> the gift varies based on, on, on many things. But the point is to make it a joy and to feel good about it. Because you see, here's the best part. The best part about this whole thing, all right, is that the things we give to God come from God. Exactly. So God knows how good it feels to give, and God gives us stuff so that we can then feel the joy of giving it back to God. How cool is that? I think that's amazing. So, the ability to give a gift is itself a gift that God gives to us. So the next time we pass the plate, and in the coming weeks and months and years of your life, I hope you can think of it that way. And feel the joy of giving, and know that even the ability to give that gift is a gift God gives to you. Because God loves you, and so do I. Amen.